Hi everyone, Teacher Alex here. I'm so happy to be here for our next lesson. Today, we are looking at special cases of word stress. That is the change of stress depending on how the word is used. In English, there are sets of nouns that can be used as verbs and vice versa. In this case, the word stress may change. Let's look at one in an example. I have the word record as a noun. The stress falls on the first syllable. Re. Record. Now you try. Record. However, when the word becomes a verb, the pronunciation is different. We read it record with the stress falling on the second syllable. Cord. Record. Now you give it a try. Record. Great work, guys. Let's listen to try and notice the difference again. As a noun, record. Record. She just broke the record for a hundred meters. Woohoo! Yes! As a verb, record. Record. He has a very good recording voice. The general rules for this special case are as a noun, the stress usually falls on the first syllable. And as a verb, the stress usually falls on the second syllable. Here are some more examples. Content. Content. I was content to wait for the movie to start. Or... What is the content of this story? Import Import Object Object Many people object to the building of the new airport. A UFO is an unidentified flying object. Decrease. Decrease. Produce. Produce. Vietnam produces a lot of goods for export. The market is full of farm produce. Contrast Contrast Present Present Are you presenting your paper tomorrow? What can I get him for a birthday present? Convert. Convert. I hope you've practiced well. And like other rules, there are exceptions to this rule. For some words, the stress may still be the same, whether they are a noun or a verb. Picture. Picture. I can still picture the house I grew up in. <sighs> can you take a picture for me, please? Answer. Answer. 
Who can answer this question? What's your answer to this question? Support Support I support him wholeheartedly. My family always gives me warm support. Parade Parade The winning team will parade through the city tomorrow. Look! There's a military parade on our street. Excellent job everyone, it's been brilliant working with you all. I hope you're now confident more when speaking English. I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye!